estimate that we could reproduce this machine for about one and a half to two million dollars. People sometimes ask what it costs to build and I say it's 14 years of my life. After four years in field trials, the machine has finally reached the point where it's safe and reliable and learnable. Um, there was many forms that it went through while I was trying to get it to work that would, I mean, it took me two years to get it walking the first time and now it looks like it's gonna take about two or three days to get an uninitiated trainee walking. I don't think you actually grasp the, the grandness of it until you get here and, and even before you get into it, just even seeing it stand up and move around and you're like, oh my God, this thing is crazy and, and powerful. Uh, and then when you get into the controls, all of a sudden it's a, it's, it's a whole other world. It, it's actually a lot harder than you think and you have to move your body in a whole new way. So I, I'm hoping I can walk, that's my goal. I just wanna walk. <laughs> You know, when I was a little kid, my, my brother and I would pretend we we're mech pilots and all of these things. And those are the things you're like, oh, wouldn't that be cool one day? But no, that's never going to happen. And yet here we are. And so uh, when it came up, I, I immediately was like, I, I would love to support this and, and help out in any way I can. And the opportunity to learn to become a mech pilot is something I couldn't possibly pass up. <laughs> So the, the ultimate vision is like an international mech racing league where you have multiple world-class athletes going head-to-head -head on a complex technical obstacle course, you know, pushing things out of the way, climbing over stuff, wearing these giant powered all-terrain mech suits. This is a dream I've had for about 14 years. 